everyone this is your Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve this non-exact differential equation so firstly we'll check whether the given equation is exact or not for our satisfaction okay and later since we are doing inspection method we are using inspection method to solve the given differential equation so after um, applying integrating factor we'll show that the reduced equation is exact or not okay definitely we'll get exact so let's get started solution given differential equation y dx minus x dy plus 3 x square y square into e power x cube dx equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. Right. Then you can write this as firstly we will write the terms containing differential dx. So y, d, d, y dx plus 3 x square y square e power x cube into dx minus x dy equals to 0. Okay. Now take dx common from the first two terms then you'll get y plus 3x square y square into e power x cube into dx minus x into dy equals to 0 right which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form right where m equals to y plus 3x square y square into e power x cube and n equals to minus x. So, if we get dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x, then we can say that the given differential equation is exact. Otherwise, it's not exact. Okay? So, Find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Do y do y of m for m equals to y plus 3x square y square into e power x cube is equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x as constant. So here x square e power x cube and 3 will be constant. This is equal to partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus constant into partial derivative of y square. This is equal to 1 plus 3 x square e power x cube. This is not square, okay, cube into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y which is equals to 1 plus 3 to the 6 x square y into e power x cube okay so we got dou m by dou y equals to 1 plus 6 x square y into e power x cube now let's find partial derivative of n with respect to x partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to dou by dou x of for n equals to minus x you can also write this as minus dou by dou x of x which is equals to minus partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so therefore dou n by dou y equals to minus 1. So it's clear that these two are not equal, right? Therefore, dou m by dou y is not equals to dou n by dou x. From this, we can say that equation 1 is non-exact. Therefore, 1 is non-exact. Okay, now let's reduce the given equation.
So in the third term, we are having 3x square y square into e4x cube into dx, right? If f of x equals to x cube, then f dash of x equals to 3x square, right? f dash of x, in the sense df of x by dx, right? Which is equals to 3x square, or you can write this as df of x equals to 3x square into dx. That is, differential f of x, in the sense, differential x cube equals to 3x square dx, right? So, we can write 3x square into dx as differential x cube. So, you can write the third term as y square e power x cube into 3x dx sorry 3x square dx which is equal to y square e power x cube into differential x cube okay fine now you can write the above equation as y dx minus x dy plus y square e power x cube into 3x square dx equals to 0. Since differential x cube equals to 3x square into dx. Okay. So now we can replace 3x square dx by differential x cube. Then y dx minus x dy plus y square e power x cube into differential x cube equals to 0. Now, we need to eliminate y square from this step and x from this and y from this, right? We know that in order to make integration easy, okay, we know that differential x by y equals to y dx minus x dy by y square. So, if we divide this equation by y square, this y square will be eliminated and using these two terms divided by y square, we can replace that by differential x by y. So, dividing by, here our integration factor is 1 by y square, okay? Integrating factor is 1 by y square or simply we can say by dividing This by y square or multiplying by 1 by y square. You can use any of these three terms. Okay, it's up to you. We'll use dividing. Dividing by y square. The above equation becomes y dx minus x dy plus y square e for x cube into differential x cube by y square equals to 0. Okay. So here our integrating factor is 1 by y square. By multiplying 1 by y square we will get exact equation that we can check later okay we'll show it at last then this becomes since we are having formula so we'll treat these two terms as one term single term 
y dx minus x dy by y square plus y square e power x cube differential x cube by y square equals to 0. So here y, y square gets cancelled and you can replace this by differential x by y. Simply we are using formula plus e power x cube into differential x cube equals to 0. Now we can perform integration. This becomes simply apply integration integral differential x by y plus integral e power x cube differential x cube equals to 0. Then we know that integral d theta equals to theta, right? For theta equals to x by y, we will get integral d theta equals to theta, that is x by y, plus integral e power theta into d theta is equals to e power theta. So here, e power theta for theta equals to x cube into differential x cube will get e power theta, that is e power x cube equals to integral constant c. Which is the required general solution. Which is the required general solution of 1. Okay. Fine. So we got solution x by y. That is general solution x by y plus e power x cube equals to c. Now, I'll show you how the reduced differential equation becomes exact. Okay. 1 by y square is uh, integrating factor, right? So, let's multiply integrating factor to the given differential equation. Right, then we'll get y dx minus x dy plus 3x square y square into e power x cube dx by y square equals to 0. Then y by y square dx minus x by y square dy plus 3x square y square e power x cube by y square into dx equals to 0. Here y square gets cancelled. 1 y gets cancelled. Then 1 by y dx minus x by y square dy plus 3x square e power x cube dx equals to 0. Now let's write the terms containing differential dx together. Plus term containing differential dy. Okay. 1 by y dx plus 3x square e power x cube dx minus x by y square dy equals to 0. Right. So now, let's take differential dx common from the first two terms. Then we'll get 1 by y plus 3x square e power x cube into dx minus last term will be as it is equals to 0, which is all. m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? We can also call it as m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0. Okay. So we have m1 equals to 1 by y plus 3x square e power x cube and n1 equals to minus x by y square. So let's check whether do m1 by do y is equals to do n by do x or not.
we're having m1 equals to 1 by y plus 3x square e power x cube and n1 equals to minus x by y square. So do m1 by do y equals to do y do y all for n1 equals to 1 by y plus 3x square e power x cube is equals to do y do y of first term plus do y do y of second term. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x will be treated as constant. So here x square and e power x cube and 3 is also constant. Okay, these three are constants. So this equals to partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. This equals to minus 1 by y square. Now coming to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Do y do x of for n1 minus x by y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so we will be treating 1 by y square as constant. This equals to minus 1 by y square that is constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x. This equals to 1 by minus 1 by y square into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 this is equals to minus 1 by y square. See here, do m1 by do y or do m by do y equals to do n1 by do x or do n by do x. Okay, therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. From this, we can say that the reduced equation is an exact equation. Okay, fine. That's it. So, we have seen a problem from non exact equation using inspection method. So, the method we have used is called inspection method. Okay, by inspection itself, we got integrating factor which is equals to 1 by y square. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.